drilling on a corn silage pile that was made last year. They're doing a new one right beside us. You can see them in the background. We've measured the pile so we know we can go at least two meters down without hitting the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. Normally we would only drill about two-thirds of a meter and take it out and then clean it out. And if it cleans out easy, then you know you can do more. On some piles, um, it's difficult to remove the sample. So you need to know that it's easy to remove before going the full meter depth. In this case, uh, we're familiar with this pile and we know that we can clean out one meter without difficulty. Use the short end of the stick, as I call it, to make the first poke, because often it's quite difficult. And then you can flip it over, keep your hand behind the ball at all times, and then push it out. We like to use a plastic trough, PVC pipe, about a three inch diameter, and we cut about a third of it. And that way we can have a look and see if there's anything unusual in it. In this case, there's some uh, mold at the top. And we know that the farmer is uh, removing that off the pile before he uh, feeds it. So we're not going to include that in our sample for analysis because the farmer normally removes that anyway. Then we'll go back in the same hole and add an extension and get our second uh, depth drilled. If you have a deeper pile, of course, you can add a third or a second or third extension if you want to. Often with the second extension, there's a little bit more friction, so it's a little more difficult to drill. In this case, not too much difference, but also when you stop and reverse the drill, you want to be hanging on with two hands because there's a lot of torque and it can be hard on your wrist if you're not hanging on with both hands when you do the reverse motion. Even with only one drill left in, or one uh, probe left in, you still want to have a good grip on on it uh, so that it doesn't jerk your wrist. It's laying it out there and then we can have a look and see that there's no dirt in it or anything. If we saw some mold or something like that, then you could go back and take more samples and see how extensive it is. If you're going to be doing more sampling right away, you can put things away and move on to the next pile. Um, if you're putting it away for very long, you'll want to clean the probe with water, preferably hot water. You can put some on the Put a rag on the end of your stick and poke it through the middle to clean that out and then wipe the outside. If you don't wipe it off, you'll find that it's more resistance. When you go to drill the next one, you'll find it harder to drill and harder to clean the sample out. After you've taken as many samples as you feel you want to, then bag them up and send them off for analysis.